guys. For health today, we are going to be talking about the stomach and the digestive system. What you're going to need today is your science book, your health packet. You're going to need a pink crayon, a pencil as well so we can label parts of the digestive system, and of course your body book so we can um, write in that. So um, go ahead, I have a brain pop to start us off with, and then we're going to go through our books. If you have any questions, please let me know, and if at any time I'm going too fast, you can go ahead and press pause and then start it up whenever you're caught up, okay? yourself? But you're going to get a stomach ache. Your body's digestive system is in charge of breaking down food and taking in nutrients. What happens when you eat? When you chew, your teeth help break down food into smaller pieces. Your tongue pushes food around to help you eat. The saliva, or spit inside your mouth, helps break down food so it's easier to swallow. When you swallow, food goes into your throat and moves down the esophagus. The esophagus is like a stretchy pipe that connects to your stomach. What does the stomach do? Right, Moby, your stomach is kind of like a sack that stores food. The stomach mixes and mashes food down even more. Gastric juices break down food into a soupy mix. Sometimes you can feel your stomach churn and do its job. What happens when food leaves the stomach? Food moves from the stomach into the small intestine. Your small intestine isn't very small. It's a really, really long tube. The small intestine breaks down food even more so your body can absorb or take in nutrients from the food. Well, some foods like milk, cheese, and dark greens are high in calcium, which is a mineral your body uses to build strong bones. Meat Nuts and tofu are foods that are high in protein, which your body uses to build muscles. Organs send juices to the small intestines to help your body digest food and absorb different nutrients. Food might stay in your small intestine for hours. What happens when food leaves the small intestine? The stuff your small intestine did not absorb moves to the large intestine. It's shorter than the small intestine, but it's fatter. Right, Moby, the large intestine is also called the colon. In the colon, your body absorbs water that's left and leaves waste behind. Later, you get rid of the waste. The mouth, esophagus, stomach, intestines, and other parts of the body that break down food and take in nutrients make up the digestive system. How can you care for the digestive system? It's important to eat nutritious foods that your body can use to grow strong and healthy. Foods that are high in fiber such as whole grains, beans, nuts, fruits, and vegetables are good for your digestive system. Your body uses water to make gastric juices that help you digest food. So, it's a good idea to drink water when you're thirsty instead of sugary sodas. Exercise is also good for your digestive system helps keep things moving through your body. The digestive system begins with your mouth, so it's important to eat slowly and chew your food. It's also important to eat the right amount of food. If you eat too fast or eat too much, you might get a stomach ache. Uh-oh, Moby. 
Okay, so turn in your health packet to page 72 and 73, and we're going to read about our stomach today. Um, and make sure you have a pencil so we can underline some important facts. Okay, so it starts with your stomach, and there's a diagram, and we will take out our body books in just a moment. Um, but this is what our body looks like inside. It says, many parts of your body help digest food. To digest means to change food so it can be used by your body. Your mouth, teeth, and stomach help you digest food. When your teeth chew and so or your teeth chew and soften food. When you swallow food, it goes to your stomach. Stomach juices work to change food. Juices, it's acid. You have acid in your stomach that helps um, break down food. The food is changed so it can be used by all parts of your body. Okay, so it is changed to energy. So you eat and then your body changes it to energy so you can get moving. Okay? You can help your body digest food easily. Very important things. Choose your food well and do not eat fast. You, this is a clue when we underline stuff that you might need that for your test. Okay, so make sure your food is chewed well and you don't eat too fast. All right, we're going to look in our science books now. So go ahead and take out your science book, put this on pause, and turn your science book to page 145. Okay, we're going to be looking on page 145 in our science book, and we are going to be talking about the stomach. Okay, it says... Food gives your body energy. That's what we just talked about. You need energy to play and grow. Food needs to be changed before your body can use it. Your stomach helps change the food. Muscles in your stomach mix up the food. Liquids, which are acids, in the stomach help break the food into tiny pieces. The food moves out of the stomach. Other parts of the body finish changing some of your food into energy. So, look up here. She's about to eat the apple. Let's draw an arrow to show how the food moves from the mouth to the stomach. So, it's going to go in, straight down to her stomach. So, go ahead and make sure you have an arrow there. Okay? Then at the bottom, it says, write what your stomach does. Let's go back up into the paragraph and look for what it says. Your stomach, if you look in the first paragraph, it says food needs to change before your body can use it. Your stomach helps change food. Okay, and what does it change it to? Into energy. So let's make that in a sentence. Your stomach helps change food into energy. Okay? Very good job. Go ahead and grab your body book and we're going to work on all the information we just read so that we can put it together in our body books. Okay, so we have our body book and we're going to be working on the stomach. So you are going to find the body that looks like this. And if you notice, it goes down a little bit into the writing, but it's okay because we're going to start writing on this full line here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to color the stomach pink. Okay. And then we're going to color all this pink. Okay. Then we are going to label. So grab your pencil. Of course, food goes in your mouth. Mouth is part of your stomach um, digestive system. That is the first step of where your food goes, right? And then you chew your food and it goes to here, okay? That is called the esophagus.
Okay, so it goes here and then of course it lands here and that is your stomach. Okay, so go ahead and label that and then we are going to be doing the writing down at the bottom. We're going to start on the third line because it's the first full line and make sure you indent your two fingers as well. Okay? Okay, so we are going to be writing about our stomach and our digestive system. So go ahead and turn in your body books to our digestive system and we're going to start writing. Okay, so we're going to start with what does our stomach do? My stomach helps me change food to, whoop, not fod, food to energy. Muscles in my stomach, boy. Mix. Wow, I'm having a hard time today. Mix the food and acids in my stomach help break up the food into tiny pieces. Okay, if I'm going too fast, again, just put it on pause, and then when you're ready and you're all caught up, then you can press play again. Okay, my stomach belongs to the what system? Do you remember? Digestive system. Other parts of the digestive system are, what, what else did we label? Mouth, esophagus, small intestines, and large intestines. Okay. Chew. Something to help you digest your food. Chewing my food well and not eating fast helps my food digest. Okay? So go ahead and make sure that this is done. And again, if I went too fast, just go ahead and pause it and um, go ahead and finish when you're ready. Okay guys, so your homework in this book is the same like we've done for everything else, is adding two sentences of new information to the digestive system part of your body book. Try and find weird funny facts that you can share with us on Friday. Please make sure you have this done. Every time you read it to me, it's for a grade. So please make sure that you have this done and if you have any questions, please let me know.